It's that time of the week for the CEO's blog and John, thank you for joining us. You've got a really great update about the Rising Star series, which is coming up in a couple of months. Yeah, and it's, uh, this update is in re respect of um, young Nicholas Duar. Uh, his family has uh, given their blessings for the Rising Stars this, this year to be called uh, the Nicholas Duar. Memorial Rising Stars Championship. It's um, it's an event that um, I truly believe um, Nick would have competed in it at some stage, mm. and um, it, it's just something that the board um, unanimously and and overwhelmingly said we have to do. So this year's um, Rising Stars will be a, another fantastic addition, but we'll we'll have that um, that that touch of regret but certainly acknowledgement of a fine young man. Mm, no, that's great to hear. Uh, talking about another rising star or former rising star, he competed in the rising stars anyway, it was Brad Elder. He was involved in a nasty fall but you have an update about him. Yeah, very nasty fall and rising all, all star all right. Um, he was catapulted out of the sulky, the sulky uh, at Newcastle, race one uh, last Saturday night, came across and, and, and pummeled him mm. um, uh, but he's very well he, he, he um, appears he has no breaks whatsoever a lot of bruising uh, but what came out of that uh, fall the incident was that the horse actually got pretty well straight away to its feet and mm. turned around and headed back towards the uh, un un oncoming um, traffic so mm. uh, the clerks of the course did a marvelous job in that instance but it's something that uh, the stewards uh, uh, will certainly review as to our processes with uh, with falls um, as we do after every incident um, uh, only this morning we had uh, discussions with the uh, ambulance operators uh, about the procedures with treating patients so it's um, we like uh, and we will always adopt best practice at Harness Racing New South Wales and to do so we'll undertake reviews. Okay. All right, let's talk about the industry forum. We've got another one coming up uh, in June. Uh, another one? You, you say that as if we've, we have too many. We, we <laughs> don't have enough, but we, we, we do have these. Uh, uh, yeah, two years ago we had the industry conference. Uh, it actually received a national award. Last year we had a, a, an uh, basically an industry seminar where we had all the clubs and associations looking at um, uh, certain things we do operationally and um, compliance and um, governance. Uh, this year um, uh, we're having an industry forum and we're going to invite um, um, members of the industry to partake in um, discussing certain and putting points forward on certain topics and uh, that will be at um, Bankstown here um, at, at the end of of June, uh, 29th, 30th of June, and it falls right into the um, the Alabar Breeders Challenge. So um, everyone is invited to attend. Um, I, I must say, um, many of the clubs and associations um, they will attend because um, it um, they will be taking part in in the discussion and and the putting the points of view across of what what's good for this industry, what we need to do for this industry in New South Wales and how we take it forward. Okay, well uh, keep an eye at the Harness Media Centre for more updates for this industry forum. Okay, let's talk about the Carnival of Cups, the Tab Carnival of Cups. It uh, was on at West Wyalong last Sunday and Jimmy Brown won the main feature race. He did and um, I hope uh, that young boy got $20 out of Jimmy instead of 10 mm -hmm. to buy his ice creams. But, but, but truly um, marvellous uh, um, meeting. Um, uh, Ray Moore and Rodney Crow, they put so much into the meeting. Ten races, um, a hot day, but um, a great meeting. And um, Blackbird Power and Gavin Kelly and Jimmy Brown, um, a great effort there as well. Okay, and now the Tab Carnival of Cups rolls through to Penrith on Thursday night where they have the 50th anniversary of the Renshaw Cup. Yeah, another one of these races that um, many, many stakeholders, participants like to win and it's a good field uh, there for this uh, Thursday night and to um, uh, Lorraine and the team at, um, uh, at Penrith, there'll be a, a touch of sadness there of course with um, uh, the, our loss, our industry's loss of Max Lawton but um, yeah, gr great race meeting so I encourage everybody to attend. Okay, well while we're on the topic of, that, of Penrith, I just wanted to ask you a question. What do the horses, Mr. Rio de Janeiro, Let's Go to Brazil, and Brazilian Rocker all have in common? Uh, that's where you're going for your next holiday? I hope so. That'd be nice if no, I'm allowed may to. Maybe not. No, what they do have in common is, is the fact that um, uh, they're all bred by the, by the same uh, people. 
Tony Zeri and Sloys, mm -hmm. uh, but they're all out of the one mare, Miss Brazidi, and um, a fabulous breed um, uh, there, and um, it, it's most unusual. I think they almost won the last three races. I think it's the, uh, there might have been one winner in between, in between but yeah. um, uh, a fabulous effort. So um, they've, they've got a great mare, um, three winners, a two-year-old, a three-year-old, and a four-year-old all on the one night. So um, well done, Sloys, and well done, Miss Br Brazilian, and, of course, the trainer, yes. Michael Dotto. <laughs> yeah, no, fantastic result. Okay, John, I think that might be Michael Dotto trying to call you now. <laughs> uh, have you got anything else for this edition of the... CEO's blog. Well, the phone never stops ringing here at Harness Racing New South Wales, and yes. I encourage anybody, if they have an issue that they need dealt with, that perhaps someone else may not have um, been able to deal with here at uh, Harness Racing New South Wales, they can always try to call me. Well, they can call me. I will return the call at some stage. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Thanks for your time, John. Thank you, Amanda.